So I think when we, when we think about conservation, we're, we're familiar with ideas like national parks, right? Where you preserve an area of wilderness that's beautiful, like something like what you see behind me. And if we protect that just by, protect, just by sort of you know, walling it off and minimizing the amount of, of um, intrusion that we do, like cutting trees or building roads, then that, that's enough. And it turns out if, you, if we live in a warming world, which we do, that just setting aside areas of land may not be enough for all species because species are, are on the move. They're trying to track their climates. They're trying to find the best place that they can live in their habitats. And that may not necessarily stay in the same place as we warm the planet in the next century. And so we may actually need to help those species along. We may need to actually pick up some species and, and transport them to actively relocate them to the places where they need to survive. And that is a little bit more hands-on than I think many of us are used to thinking about when it comes to conservation. And we need to be prepared to think outside the box, to potentially um, let go of the idea of sort of pristine wilderness as something that is you know, completely hands-off. It might require a little bit more of this active management. So one of the poster children for this idea of the managed relocation of species is a tree. It's a conifer called the Florida toria. And it tends to like cooler, moister temperatures than where it's found now. It's mostly in Florida and kind of creeping into Georgia. And it's a critically endangered tree. It uh, seems to not be doing very well in its current habitat. And there's some thought that it, the seeds of this tree used to be dispersed by a now extinct tortoise, right? So with no one around to move its seeds around, uh, either we can let the tree go extinct or we can help. And there are people um, who are actively doing this. There's a nonprofit called the Toria Guardians, and they've made it their mission to save and rescue this tree by trying to plant it further north um, to try to find a place where it actually is happy growing.